The next type of quoting that we are going to look at uh, is uh, referred to as strong quoting. And uh, the same way that the weak quoting uses uh, double quotes as its syntax, the strong quoting uses a single quote. So it works pretty much the same way. You can do uh, this is a echo single quote, this is a weird file star name, okay? And there's not going to be any expansion, so it works with any command, okay? This is just a way to neutralize a bunch of uh, uh, meta characters. So it's really useful when you have actually literally a bunch of meta characters in, uh, in one message that you're trying to display. So remember that here's a list of meta character in case you, you forgot it, okay? Um, there's a lot of stuff that you might end up using in commonly, you know, like the question mark, exclamation mark, etc. In, um, in your messages, on the shell, etc. in expressions. And uh, backslashing each of them is a problem. You could use double quote, but as we've seen before, double quoting doesn't neutralize all of those, so there are exceptions. So pretty much when you want to say, uh, this is just text, well, this is when the single quoting, uh, so known as strong quoting, comes into play. So there is no, no exception there. And actually, the fact that there is no exception can be a, a bit of a nuisance at time. Uh, let's take an example to illustrate this. Let's say that I echo a message that says, here goes the backslash symbol. So I use, I started with double quotes, sorry about that, let me fix that. I use single quotes around this, okay? So as would be expected, um, I am getting the backslash as is, face value, not with its meta character interpretation. All right, so that's good. Um, however, that also means that um, if I wanted to say something like, here goes the quote symbol, all right, my first reflex would be to say, well, I'm going to backslash it. And this is what happens. What happens is I get this weird prompt that we already encountered once in the past. Once we were, when we were uh, trying to use a backslash to neutralize the end of line character at the, at the end when you type enter. So this means that the shell has looked at what I typed and it's not really fully satisfied. There's more that needs to come. Okay, that's pretty much what it's telling me. Type more. Um, so why is that so? Well, because it understands that, okay, this quote here, they limitate the text up to that closing quote, and this is interpreted as a closing quote, that's a problem. So you can tell already that backslash didn't do its job. And then I have some uh, message here to display, and then I open a single quote, but I don't have the closing single quote. So if I type a closing single quote, now the shell is happy, displays its job, display does its job and displays the expression I wanted it to display, except that we wanted to put a quote symbol here. Um, so what happened if I do echo single quote, here goes the single quote symbol. So maybe, you know, I don't have to, to backslash it. Uh, well, same thing happens. Okay, so it's not working. That means that uh, the single quote is not escaped by the usual way, okay, that we used before. And if I don't even try to escape it, well, bottom line is that it's not escaped. So it's either I try to escape it, but it doesn't escape, or um, I don't try to escape it, and so it's not escaped. So we're kind of stuck here. So how do I, how do I display a single quote inside an expression like that? The answer is easy, you don't. Uh, but we still need to find a way to do it. So you don't display it inside a single quote expression. So here it goes, uh, and single quote here cannot be here, cannot be inside the expression. Um, so to be able to display a message that says, here goes the single quote symbol, I need to close here my, um, my single quote expression, I need to reopen it here and let it close at the end. So I have two segments, okay? I have the first part of the message that is here goes the, and that's it. And then the second part that is symbol. And in between here, I want to insert the single quote. But now please notice I am not inside, you know, the boundaries of, uh, of a strong 
quoting expression okay there's one here there's one here so I am like here like I'm just like where I would be if I was typing this right and obviously it's not going to work because that's the the way that you open a single quote so now the shell is going to wait for me to close it it's going to find this one and interpret it as a closing one and then it's going to find this and interpret it as an opening one and then tell me well you need to type more and that doesn't work so I need to do one more thing here so one more thing I need to do is because this single quote here is outside any uh, strong quoting expression I can revert back to backslashing it so if I backslash it, I'm saying, okay, I want you to echo something, and this something is going to go through uh, different substitution in the shell to give me the final result. This first part here is a single quote expression, so it's going to result in, here goes the, no meta character to neutralize, but if there was any, they would be neutralized. This part here, same thing. Sorry, this part right here. And then this backslash single quote here in the middle, well, it's just another expression, but this time I'm not using double quote, I'm not using single quote to neutralize meta character, I'm just using the backslash. So backslash single quote to result in single quote. And you can see that this is indeed what's going to be displayed on the screen. So single quote, um, single quotes are very uh, useful. They are used uh, a lot to mass neutralize meta characters in long expression. Just be careful about uh, about two things, okay? So the one uh, little difficulty here, if you want to display a single quote inside of a, a single quoted expression, you can't, you have to, to work around that, okay? And there's a second thing to, to be careful about, it's kind of off topic, but uh, a lot of people get confused by that. This here is a single quote. This here is a back tick, a back quote. Okay, so you can see that the single quote, depending on your font, is going to be either appearing like a vertical quote, okay, or maybe it's going to be slanted from top right to bottom left, and it's located on the keyboard generally next to the enter key. The back quote or back tick right here is actually slanted from top left to bottom right and is generally located uh, very close to the escape key on the top left of your keyboard. Okay, So don't, don't confuse those two uh, quotes because that's going to wreak havoc with your, uh, your bash. Each of the quotes in bash has a special meaning. We talked about the double quote, we talked about the single quote, we haven't talked yet about the back tick, but we will very soon. So confusing them is not a, is not a good idea, Okay, as you may guess.